Not long after her March 22 video message in which she announced to the world her cancer diagnosis the previous month, the Princess of Wales and her family, her husband Prince William and children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, were at home. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. The country house, Anmer Hall, is on the grounds of the Sandringham estate in Norfolk. Kate has spoken in the past about how much her family loves being there, away from it all, enjoying the outdoors, getting dirty, and taking a break from life inside the Royal Aquarium. There is no doubt what the family of five are doing now as the three children have the Easter break from Lambrook School, and former BBC Royal correspondent Jenny Bond said Kate will take some time to recover and heal over the Easter break, and will do it his best for her to join the outdoor life, according to the son. I expect Catherine and William to ignore any talk of her illness with the children, she said. She says she's getting stronger every day, so I'm sure she's doing her best to participate in outdoor life, picnics, barbecues, walks on the beach. Royal expert Dickie Arbiter praised Kate for delaying her announcement to coordinate her children's Easter break from school, only telling the world when she and William could be sure they would be away from prying questions from her curious classmates. He said, Kate got her priorities right by talking to the family and children first, then telling everyone what was wrong, what kind of treatment she was receiving, that she was getting stronger, and that she hoped to be back soon. It would be hard for anyone to make Kate's video announcement, but this is especially true for Kate because she's naturally shy, and it took a lot for her, royal biographer Sally Bedell Smith said, for People magazine. Bedell Smith said the Princess of Wales was sincere, generous, level-headed and forthright in delivering her speech, and reminded the longtime royal expert of someone many, if not all, would like to be compared to, the late Queen Elizabeth. When, Kate, finished with you are not alone, the bell rang with something Queen Elizabeth would have said, Bedell Smith said. It was very similar to what Queen Elizabeth said during coronavirus when she said, we are all in this together. Bedell Smith added, Kate, was aware that there were very few people who had read about this or watched this and who wouldn't. He does that. I don't know anyone with cancer. And she was conscious of that. It was a way to reassure people not just about her condition, but to help them be brave. There was no trace of self-pity. She expected honesty. It was the right balance.